Yo, what's good boys? Welcome to the video. It's Jack. Uh, in this one, we are going to be going through some effects that I use in my melodies. I feel like it's very important for you guys to understand that making a good melody is one thing, but with the effects and everything, it's super important. Like You can definitely turn like an average melody into something amazing if you use the right effects. And I'm going to be demonstrating the ones I use uh, in all my melodies and all my beats. So I hope you guys enjoy. Here we are inside FL Studio. Um, I've just got myself, I've just got a little melody here. Uh, we're using In Memoriam 1 for anyone who's wondering. Uh, Omnisphere. So yeah, let's just play that without any of the effects. Nice little melody. Well, it is chords, like you could add some melodies to that, but yeah, it's decent. Um, so we're going to be going through the effects that I use, not in any particular order, uh, in terms of like how good they are or in order I would use them. Just you know, just kind of randomly going through them and, and explaining why they're good and why I'd recommend you try them for yourself. So the first one is going to be RC20. It's kind of a, a bit of a bait plugin. Like a lot of people use this and a lot of people know about this, but I still feel like I have to mention it for the people that well, the producers that might not know. Best thing about this plugin is it has a bunch of presets. So even if you don't know how to use it. Uh, if you're going for a certain sound, just look up and you'll probably find it. Um, my favourite way to use this is the vinyl presets. I love the wobble, which basically just does the pitch wobble. Um, the distortion is alright as well. Don't really mess with digital. Space is just like kind of reverb and magnetic is... Not really sure what magnetic is to be fair. Uh, and noise is quite good as well if you like that sort of like crackling. Like if you're going for that kind of lo-fi or old sounding, you know what I'm saying, melody. It's a good, it's a good plugin. It's a, it's a go-to... Uh, industry standard plugin, I'd say. So, yeah, I definitely recommend you guys go and check this out. Uh, let's hear what it sounds like when we put it on our melody. So, I'm just using the Vinyl 2 preset. So, yeah, it sounds like this now. So, as you can hear, the distortion is coming to play. It sounds... Uh, a little bit more old, a little bit more kind of vinyl you know what I'm saying? A little bit more broken, which is what we're going for. But yeah, it's very subtle, which is good also. Subtle effects are nice. You don't want anything too crazy that takes away from your melody, you know what I'm saying? Just like a little subtle touch. Um, so yeah, great plugin. Definitely go check it out, RC20. So the second plugin is a, something a little bit more advanced, a little bit more uh, crazy, I'd say. If you're going for something that is experimental and uh, different, this is the perfect plugin. It's called Portal. It is amazing. Yet again, just like RC20, a bunch of presets, all different categories for different types of sounds. Um, I use Stretch and Smear. I also go into, well, I've used a lot of them really. Vocal, uh, where is it? The Vocals one is really good as well. Rhythmic, sound design, you know what I'm saying? It's got everything in here. I've just put on a preset that I really like. I use it quite a lot. Uh, it's called Mangle Smear. Um, something really important about Portal is uh, the dry and wet knob. Uh, the, the more up by wet, the more of the uh, effect is being used. I usually have it around 20 or 30. Like I said, it's quite strong. The effect is quite, it, it's doing a lot. So I do like to keep it way down in the dry section just so it's a little bit more subtle. But yeah, here's what it sounds like with this effect. I've used that preset quite a lot, but in Portal there are a ton of amazing presets inside this VST. Like it's, it's genuinely a, a great, great VST. It's, it's definitely worth checking out. So yeah, that's Portal. Okay, the next one is something a little bit more low key. This one's called Decimal. It's just great. It says it's a high quality bit crusher. It offers loads of different effects. Um, bit crushing is like the main forte of this plugin, but uh, I, I find the presets do various different um, things. So you've got like DC, the resolution here, the lower the number, the more kind of, uh, it lowers the bit rate, I think, and it just makes it sound a bit more broken. I usually don't drop it below eight. Um, frequency is quite cool if you want to just, you know what I'm saying, focus on one particular frequency. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain as well. It's easier for you if I just show you. Quite intense but yeah great plugin really good recommend you guys check that one out decimal two second one is just like a little little plugin i'm saying nothing major it's just called little radiator 
Uh, it's just basically a little bit of a distortion preamp type thing. Uh, very simple. It's got heat and it's got a mix, dry wet. Uh, I, have, I have it usually on about half, half, just a bit of distortion really. Great for basses. So yeah, quite subtle, um, but I think it's a great little plugin to get. It's very cheap as well. I think it was like, what, like, like $10 or something. It's so cheap, like, it's definitely worth having. It's a good plugin. Now we're moving on to something that is very, very widely used. Halftime is just a great plugin to have, even if, I know it's really uh, obvious and it's really popular, but it's just a great plugin to have. Like, I can't stress it enough. Um, so it basically just half times, or well, you can do more than half. You can do quarter, eighth, uh, and you know what I'm saying? There's a lot more customization than there is with, say, Gross Beats halftime. So it's definitely worth having. Also, you've got like a mix on and off, which is great. So we'll play it with just uh, normal settings. Ooh. So you can get some really interesting results with this plugin. Um, great, I, I, I've used it for so long now and it's just it's, it's another cheap plugin that's just really worth having, so definitely check it out. So this is my personal favorite reverb, it's called Valhalla Vintage Verb. Trying to make your sounds more ambient if you're trying to make something a bit more spacey, make it a bit more wide in the stereo image perhaps, you know what I'm saying? This is just a great plugin to do that with, uh, great reverb, loads of presets. Uh, I find that any plugin like this, especially for sound design, that has presets is just amazing. Like you can't go wrong with presets realistically. It saves you loads of time. And there's just loads of different types of, you know what I'm saying, rooms, spaces, plates, all sorts of stuff realistically. The mix and decay are really important. I use that a lot, but then everything else is kind of just, oh, and low cut as well. Definitely have that up. As you can see, it's a lot more ambient now, a lot more spacey, vibey. So yeah, great plugin to have, great reverb. Definitely check it out. Okay, so this is a plugin by Baby Audio. It's called iHeartNY. I wasn't gonna put this one in because I, I don't really use it that much, but I feel like it's still a great plugin to know about and to have. It's a parallel compressor. Parallel compression, also known as the New York compression, so hence the name iHeartNY, is a dynamic range compression technique used in sound recording and mixing. Parallel compression, a form of upward compression, is achieved by mixing an unprocessed dry or a lightly compressed signal with a heavily compressed version of the same signal. Okay, so yeah, parallel meaning it's the same thing, but that you've got a dry version and a heavily compressed version. So that's what it does realistically. I guess that's what the, the spank means. And the output is just like the volume of it. Anyone who's using headphones or good speakers right now can appreciate this. So yeah, it's probably not the best for melodies. It's very good on drums. But yeah, I'm just going to show you that anyway. So yeah, definitely check out iHeartNY. Okay, this one is one of my personal favorites, uh, Guitar Rig. It is so good, okay. I know the name is Guitar Rig and it is meant for guitars, but honestly, you could use this stuff on vocals, you could use it on synths, you can use it on basically anything. It's just a really sort of diverse effects plugin. So it's, it's very good. Um, definitely recommend you guys check it out. Um, I often go into styles and pop and then I go into the pop section because everything else is kind of like heavy metal, very distorted, very kind of unusable for what type of music I make. But having said that, it's still a very versatile plugin so it's definitely worth checking out uh, no matter what kind of music you make. So Prince in the Rain is a goaded preset. Uh, I'll play the melody with this on it. If you guys have like a, a guitar VST or even like an, uh, an actual recorded guitar and you want to make it sound a bit more realistic, a bit better, I would highly recommend you check out Guitar Rig. It is brilliant. Okay, this one's a little bit more rarer than the others. It's called RP Reverse. It's by someone called Rob Papen. Uh, it's basically just a reverse plugin, but you can do a lot more with it. Um, I haven't actually used this too much, um, but it's still a, an interesting plugin you guys should check out. So let's just do a little demonstration. It basically combines the normal input with the reversed version of it. And when you combine it together, it's just really cool. I actually haven't, I haven't actually used this too much. I, I might start using this again. If you like reversing melodies and you use like gross beat or whatever else, or you just reverse it inside the playlist or inside your DAW, 
Uh, I'll, I'll check out RP Reverse for real. Check it out. Okay, last but not least, probably the most important plugin of all of them, EQ. And this is specifically a Fab Filter Pro Q3. Um, for this melody, we'll probably just do a bit of a low cut, maybe maybe a little boost around here, something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, EQ in is so important. This is kind of getting into a bit more of a mixing kind of video now, but. Yeah, if you if you know how to use an EQ, you can do a lot with a melody. So yeah, if you want a good EQ, Fab Filter Pro is the one. Or well, we'll just play what it sounds like with the EQ enabled now. As you can see, the waves here. So yeah, that's uh, Fab Filter Pro Q3 great EQ plugin. So yeah, that's basically all of the plugins that I use on my melodies. There are a few more uh, not so great ones, but these are like the main ones I use. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you've learned something. Definitely go and check out all those plugins. Um, let me know what ones you've used and what experiences you've had with them. And also comment some down that we haven't mentioned uh, in the comments. Let me know. Uh, any VSCs I haven't mentioned, any good ones I should check out. Follow all my social medias, my Instagram at prodbyjack and my Twitter, realprodbyjack. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.